the booms I, I feel like are going to be a long life boom. The wings are on hydraulics, the center section is on hydraulics, the boom just rides smooth as can be. The only way I think it's going to get tore up is if I do it on accident. Uh, I just feel like it's a pretty solid boom and there's enough, it's just about the right length for like pre's that you don't have any, or that you got just a little bit of overlap, enough to, that you, you need so you don't have streaks or whatever and the boom just rides smooth. That's all there is to it. I mean somebody figured that out at Apache that, uh, um, you know, if we design this thing to keep the boom level, uh, we're probably not going to have trouble with the booms and we don't have trouble with them. You know, the Rogator had a pretty massive boom on it, although it was a 90 foot boom just like this, and I saw this boom and thought that it didn't, it wasn't impressive to look at. I thought, I really like it, it's neat and clean and compact, but I was afraid that, that it might give me trouble, and, but uh, it did hit the ground a few times. Never any damage, no bending, no bows. Of course, there's always times that spraying an edge, you catch a post or a tree, and it, the boom flexes back and snaps right back in place. It's very forgiving. They're, uh, they seem to be excellent booms. No problems. I kind of like the way the boom is set up versus the uh, sprayer that I had previous. The way the design of the boom kind of is built around the tips, which kind of helps protect the tips. So you're, we've had way less breakage of tips this year. And uh, I mean, I know when we get really busy, we, you start pushing the sprayer a little bit harder. And there's some times we've been over some really rough ground and uh, at probably higher, a little higher speeds than probably what we should have been, uh, the boom has held up terrific. <laughs>